The best PCs deserve the best cooling, and the Corsair Hydrax Series Custom Cooling Configurator will help guide you through the process of designing your own custom loop. The Custom Cooling Configurator is updated weekly for compatibility with a wide variety of hardware components, letting you choose components with confidence. To begin designing a new custom loop, click Design Your Loop. You'll first be asked to select your computer case. Some cases will be fully rendered to make it easier to visualize a complete loop, but if your case isn't rendered, it still has been validated by our HydraX team as compatible with HydraX series components. Next you'll want to select your motherboard. Type the model in the search bar and select it when it appears at the bottom of the screen. If you know what CPU you'll be using, make sure to include that so we can calculate the type of cooling you'll need later on. For graphics cards, select the GPU type and brand, then narrow down your search to your specific graphics card model. Don't forget to select how many graphics cards your system has. Now select the M.2 SSD that you plan to use in your system. If you don't see this screen, it means that your motherboard's M.2 SSD location isn't compatible with an M.2 SSD water block. You'll now see a screen that summarizes your PC specs and offers you up to three different Hydrex configurations for you to start with. Don't worry, you'll be able to dial these in some more in the next step. The Pro Level offers an entry-level custom cooling solution, picking components that make it easy for first-time builders. The Elite Level offers the best value for more experienced users. And the Platinum Level goes all out, including additional accessories and tools you may need to get the job done like a pro. If you want to compare what each level starts you out with, click on Show Details to expand an itemized list of each configuration side by side. Once you've decided which level you'd like to start with, click on Customize. First up is the CPU water block. Recommended components are based on the case color and CPU socket, but if you want to go for a different finish, you can change this here as well as view detailed information. If you plan to overclock your CPU, make sure to toggle overclocking so that we can add that to our radiator calculation. For our GPU block, you can view more details, and just like the CPU, you can toggle overclocking if you plan to overclock this component as well. If your motherboard is compatible with an M.2 water block, you have the option of selecting a water block for your own M.2 SSD, or upgrade to an SSD that's ready to go with a pre-installed M.2 water block. Based on the information you've provided up to this point, we'll recommend up to three stages of cooling performance for your loop. Each stage results in a different level of performance during high workloads. In the example on screen, you'll see that the main differences between stage 1 and stage 2 cooling are the radiator sizes and larger radiators mean more surface area to keep your loop cool and quiet. Once you've selected which level of cooling you'd like, make sure to pick which color you'd like for your radiators. The custom cooling configurator will pick fans based on the default fan configuration of any pre-installed Corsair fans in your case. If you wish to go with different Corsair fans for your build, simply select the style that you want. Now it's time to pick your pump style. The custom cooling configurator will only recommend pump styles that will fit in the case that you picked for your build. Soft tubing, hardline tubing, maybe a satin finish? Pick the style of tubing that you'd like, and pick up a tube bending tool kit if you decide to go for hardline. Then pick the coolant color, and select the fitting color that will go best with your build. Corsair Hydro X series components work best when powered by the Corsair IQ software, allowing for full control over the lighting of your pumps and blocks, as well as cooling performance with specific Hydro X series cooling presets or your own custom curves. The custom cooling configurator will base its recommendation on your case if it already includes an IQ-compatible controller. Otherwise, you should pick a compatible lighting and cooling controller from this screen. The custom cooling configurator will already have calculated how many fittings you'll need for your configuration, but if you want to add some extra fittings or accessories like a ball valve or some extra angled adapters, this screen will allow you to do that. The configuration overview screen will help you visualize and review your HydroX build. You can scroll through each item for your new loop, save your configuration for later, get a build guide for your components, add your loop to your cart, or go back and try a different config or start over from scratch. And that's it. The Corsair Hydrax Series Custom Cooling Configurator takes the guesswork out of designing your own custom loop for your system. For more information about Corsair Hydrax Series components, check us out at Corsair.com.